there's a lot of speculation out there that when we have a dream that is so vivid, it seems real, where we are talking to another person. Is there a possibility that that other person is actually aware of that dream also? Could it be that they also are having a dream where we are in theirs? So could this be like a two-way conversation where I dream about someone and they're dreaming about me? I'm about to tell you proof that this happens because sometimes in our dreams, which a lot of people ask me about, is this question. Do we have sex with other people in our dreams? Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. As you can imagine, I get asked quite a lot of questions. Some of them can be pretty out there and some of them really do make me think, okay? So today's question is about dreams. I've done a few dream prophecies um, on my channel now and I've got some more to put up there because I've, I've been having these, you know, I go there guys. When we ask for a gift from them, our source, God, angels, whoever you want them to be, when we ask them for a gift, if we're doing it for the right reasons in the universe, generally they will give, it to, give those gifts to us if it's something that we're supposed to have. So when I did my first dream prophecy about the queen about three or four weeks ago, I didn't realize how many people were going to be interested in it. I didn't realize how many emails I'd get saying things like, Hey, Linda, how often do you have dreams that come true? How often do you interact with people in your dreams? Do you ever have sex with these people? Oh, the answer is uh, yes. What the heck? I've got to go there today. Okay, so let me go there. Back in the 1980s, my first husband, he was actually working for one of the TV channels doing a sports event. And so I started following what he was doing at that sport event. A couple of weeks later, he got asked if he wanted to work at some music awards. Lo and behold, I'm sitting at home watching live television, hoping to see my ex-husband there, you know, because we were married at the time. And the host of the show was this guy with blonde hair sitting there leaning against this like desk thing with a microphone. And I was there thinking, oh my God, who is this guy? I've never seen him before. Turns out that this guy was John Bon Jovi. That was back in the late 80s for me. And it started this, it was like a crush. I ended up being in their, um, I, I joined their mailing list, I was in their fan club, I won tickets, so I was on stage with Bon Jovi in their late, oh, I think it was 1996 I was on stage with Bon Jovi, and 1994 it must have been, I was on stage with Bon Jovi when they were here in Brisbane, and I actually kissed him that night, and he, I grew he came over and kissed me. So I did what any woman would do when you're in the arms of this gorgeous man. I actually groped his buttocks. Three security guards are dragging me off stage. So I've now got that energetic connection to this man because I've physically touched him. You know how they say the six, um, what is it? Six levels of... Um, connectedness or whatever it is okay there was a movie where everyone's connected okay so six levels of separation or something it's called so we do have this okay it's because of whoever we're connected to that person is connected to someone else and then someone else and then someone else and believe it or not we're all connected all around the planet so you and I there is a huge possibility that you and I are connected too okay 
So what happens is when we've got this energetic connection to each other, we do weird and wonderful things in our subconscious mind. When we're asleep, our dreams, etc., are all this mismatch of all this information, right? But sometimes we have these livid dreams that seem so real that when you wake up, you think, wow, it was like I was really there. I was on this beach and this guy came over with these red beach towels and we were having this chat. Three days later, you go to the beach and you don't really see any similarities until you see this guy walking towards you with the red beach towels or whatever he's got. And you think, oh my God, here we go. I'm back in that dream. But I mean, so we can have these premonition dreams, right? But then we also have these empathic or what I call lucid dreams where we are telepathically joining with another person. How many times do we have intimate dreams about someone and you think, my God, why was I in the bathtub with that guy for? Huh? Because that happened to me back oh, about 15 years ago. This guy I sort of knew, I had this dream where we were in the bathtub and there's all these bubbles happening. And I thought, my God, what is that connection? Turned out, him and I had a lot of things in common. Okay, so even when we have dreams where we're uh, intimate with other people, we've got to look and delve into it and work out if it's real or if it's just a mismatch of that information giving us those clues as to what's going on between that person and me or you, right? Because intimacy is what sex is all about, right? So let's go there. When I was having these dreams about certain other people, including the JBJ person, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Flashback. Here we go. So <laughs> let's go there. Was he aware of what I was having done in my sub? <laughs> or should I say who I was having done in my subconscious? Okay. So I had this dream about 10 years ago. And in this dream, John Bon Jovi came up to me and he actually said, he started screaming at me and he said, stop coming to me in my dreams. I'm married. I'm really happy in my relationship. I don't want to see you. I woke up thinking, oh my God, that was like he was right here in front of me. I had no way of turning these dreams on and off at that time anyway. So I sat up in my bed and I thought, oh my God, that was like he was right here in my bed with me. He lives on the other side of the world in America. I've only met him that once when I was on stage with him. But this seemed so real. I could smell him. I, it was so intimate. I could smell him. So I sat there and I thought, am I really going to him in these dreams I'm having? So I sat there and I thought, right, we've all got the ability to turn on and turn off our dreams, right? So I looked up to her and I said, you know what? I really don't want to go against his free will. I don't want to go into his dreams anymore. So please turn that off. I don't want to go to JBJ's dreams anymore. I don't want him to be connected that way anymore. So turn it off. So that thankfully worked for me. I stopped having these dreams about him. But ultimately, guys, we've got to look at why things happen in our dreams. It doesn't mean that you're going to get involved with that person, that you're going to have this intimate physical relationship, doing all these crazy wild things that you think, oh my God, that is so romantic. I really want that man in my life. It doesn't mean that. We've got to look at what that person represents. You know, JBJ to me, he represents a man who's on stage doing what he loves. And that's about me. I love being on these videos, educating and developing you guys so you're all up to speed. So we're all becoming like angelic people, being the best version of ourselves, right? So that's something I reflect from him, okay? 
it doesn't mean I'd actually want to go out with him. I personally would don't think him and I would be anywhere similar to want to go out anyway. So it's not that I'd ever want that anyway. So it wasn't like I was stalking him. It was only because I liked his music. I'd seen him on TV. I'd kissed him on when I was on stage. But that was sort of like the end of it, okay, because it was a very um, – mental health would say it was a normal sort of crush that I had okay it wasn't like I was just getting in a car and driving everywhere he was and without um out with those microscopic bloody binoculars and and tape record and everything that he's ever said I would never go to that extreme and I hope that you wouldn't either okay but getting back to dreams what we've got to do when we have these sort of dreams is write down all the information that was in it. Not just the great bit about being intimate. We've got to write down all the bits, that other bits of that dream that we can say, okay, that's teaching me a lesson. This is how I want to be in the future. This is could be something that's premonition that's about to happen in my life. Okay, like I said before, when you're dreaming about when you're on the beach and you see this guy with the red, okay? So and then you're three days later, you're going to the beach and there's the guy with the red items, okay? So we've got to look at those as well and write it all down like a diary. So what happens is if these things do come true, we can write it down and work out what sort of psychic abilities that we've ultimately got because psychic abilities are vast and they're varied, Okay. Right now, today, I'm updating my book. It's called Psychics Explained. Hopefully, it's going to be out in about two weeks' time. Yay! I want it finished by tomorrow night. That's where it is. Then I've got to send it to someone to proofread it. Then I'm going to send it to a guy to format it so it can go on to Lulu, okay? So in two weeks, I want it on Lulu. So let's have a look at it, guys. There are heaps of different psychic abilities, I've got in this book how to get them, how to get rid of them if you don't want them, explaining how they work, what they are. I've also got protection and techniques in there and I've also got some common questions that people do ask about psychic um, abilities. So let's go there. Do we have SEX in our dreams with other people that we may not even know? Yes, it is common. So write it down, you know, Write down things like, I was in the bath with him. So, okay, why were you in a bath? What sort of bath was it? Could it be something in your mo mo mind where you're saying, oh, I want to have a bubble bath tomorrow, okay, just to make yourself feel love. That So we write it down, we work it out, and then we can finally work out why we've got psychic abilities and how to do it better. Hope you've liked this video. Talk to you soon. Bye.